Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notifications. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, we are going to start our unit third. And the first chapter in unit third is Profit and Loss. Very important chapter, very conceptual chapter. Before we understand what is profit and loss, we need to understand some terms, cost price, selling price if we understand these terms we will understand inshallah what is profit and what is loss then after we will understand what is profit percent and what is loss percent and after that we are going to do some exercise so let's start with the cost price cost price if I define this term cost price, it is the price at which an article is purchased. If I write it, cost price or in short we can write it as CP. The price at which an article is purchased is called cost price for example i go to the market and i'm going to purchase this pen and i'm asking the price of this pen to the shopkeeper the price at which this pen is sold by the shopkeeper and the price at which I am purchased this pen the price I'm giving to the shopkeeper that price is called the cost price and selling price or SP in short the price at which an article is sold is called selling price or I can say it sale price the price at which this pen is sold that price is called the selling price now on these two prices profit we come to know what is profit and what is loss I'm giving you three situations same I bought this pen at the rate of rupees 20 Then I sold it at the rate of rupees 25. First situation. Second situation. I purchased this pen at the rate of rupees 20. Now I sold it at the rate of rupees 15. And the third situation I'm giving you. I purchased this pen at the rate of rupees 20. Now I sold it at the rate of same rupees 20. See, I'm giving you three situations situation one, situation two, and situation three. In situation one, when we see my cost price as well as my selling price, we can see the difference. Here, in the first situation, Selling price is greater than the cost price. This is the first situation. Here the selling price is 25 and cost price is rupees 20. So here my selling price is greater than the cost price. 
in second situation, we can see that my cost price is rupees 20. I purchased this pen as a, at, at the rate of rupees 20. Now, due to some circumstances, I'm selling it less than the cost price. Means here rupees 15. So in this situation, my selling price is less than the cost price. And in the third situation, we can see there, here my cost price is rupees 20 and my selling price is again rupees 20. So here we can see that selling price is equivalent to the cost price. In first situation, when we see our selling price is greater than the cost price. In this situation, we gain or we have a profit. When we have such kind of situation that my selling price is greater than the cost price, I purchase it in it at the rate of rupees 20. Now I am selling it at the rate of rupees 25. I am getting back my 20 as well as the extra money, rupees 5. That rupees 5 is my profit. In second situation, we can see here, I purchased this pen at the rate of rupees 20. Now I'm selling it at the, rupees, at the rate of rupees 15. So here we can see it. my selling price is less than the cost price. I spent rupees 20, but I'm getting back only 15 rupees. Means this time I'm in loss of rupees 5. So here we have a loss. And in third situation, huh, very important situation which is not in the chapter, I'm giving you extra knowledge here. Cost price is rupees 20. Selling price is rupees 20. I purchased this pen at the rate of rupees 20. Now I'm selling it again at the rate of rupees 20. Here we can see we have neither profit nor loss. So that situation or that time we can use the term which is called the break even. When we have such situation, that time we have break means we have no profit as well as we have no loss. That time the selling price and cost price are equivalent to each other. Neither means neither profit nor loss. When we have such kind of situation, that time we use a term called break even point or simply in the break even. Now we are going to use some formulas based on these situations. So in the situation of profit, what we have to look, what we have to find, as I write here, profit, the situation should be selling price is greater than the cost price. And to calculate what is my profit, at well, that time the formula becomes, and we have to calculate, calculate how much I have earned. So at that time, selling price is to be subtracted with the cost price or cost price is subtracted from the selling price. Next, loss. That time the situation is cost price is less, oh sorry, selling price is less than the cost price. When we have such situation, when selling price is smaller than the cost price, that time we have loss. And to calculate loss, the formula becomes cost price minus selling price or sale price. Now from this, we can have some more formulas. When we have profit, to how to calculate selling price. When we have profit, how to calculate selling price. If I transfer this, from this side, here we have minus, so it becomes plus. So selling price will be equivalent to cost price plus profit. And then we have to find out the cost price. That time, selling price is to be subtracted by profit. So the formula becomes here, when we have profit, that time selling price is equivalent to cost price plus profit. We transfer this cost price from this side. Here the sign before the cost price is minus. When we substitute it from this side, it becomes plus. And when we have to find out the uh, selling price, sorry, cost price, 
that time this will shift from this side and the formula becomes cost price is equivalent to selling price minus profit but when we have loss that time the formula for selling price this is when we have profit but when we have loss that time it changes the formula changes that time selling price is equivalent to cost price minus profit the reverse and cost price is equivalent to selling price sorry here we have to use the loss not profit <laughs> cost price minus loss and uh, cost price is equivalent to selling price plus loss so we have the two different formulas when we have profit that time selling price is equivalent to cost price plus profit and when we have profit that time cost price is equivalent to selling price minus profit and when we have loss that time we calculate the selling price is equivalent to cost price minus loss and when we have loss that time cost price is equivalent to selling price plus loss you take the snapshot of this video so that we will do the equations on these formulas now let's start the first exercise of this chapter that is profit and loss if you see the exercise 4a the first question is find the cost price selling price and profit or loss in each case we have two cases in question number 1 the first case is a man buys a set of books for rupees 725 and sells them for rupees 752 so understand this question first the first part of question number 1 we have a person a man who buys a set of book for rupees 725 means he's purchased purchasing a set of books for rupees 725 means this will become our cost price so we can write here question number 1 part first solution cost price of set of books is equivalent to rupees as per in the book it is 725 because he is purchasing such amount so this is our cost price now he sells it selling price of set of books so when it sells so it it means this will become our selling price which is equivalent to 700 52 now look this look at the situation here the cost price is 725 and selling price is 752 so when we have such kind of situation selling price is greater than the cost price that time what we have yes we have the profit because selling price is greater than the cost price so we can write it because this is a symbol of because selling price is greater than the cost price then the man has a profit because 752 is greater than 725 so say here sale price is greater than cost price so here in this situation we find the cost price so therefore sorry we find the profit therefore profit is equivalent to selling price minus cost price which is equivalent to profit is equivalent to selling price rupees 752 and cost price which is equivalent to 725 now to find the profit we have to subtract these two amounts means 725 when subtracted by 725 the answer is 27 so 
तो हैंस द प्रॉफिट इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी सेवन मीन द मैन अर्न रुपीज ट्वेंटी सेवन मैन ही सोल्ड दीज बुक्स एट द रेट ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू तो दिस वॉज अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड इट वेरी वेल आई स्टेप बैक एंड यू टेक द स्नैप शॉट ऑफ दिस वीडियो नमो ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड पार्डन मी question number second we have same kind of situation here now this time we have a shopkeeper buys a watch ek gadi bech raha hai khareed raha hai sorry at the rate of rupees 1210 1210 to so, ek shopkeeper purchase kar raha hai gadi and the cost price of this watch is 1210 but due to some circumstances he sold it at the rate of 1140 now what is happening here the cost price is greater than the selling price i purchased it at the rate of 1210 now i'm selling it due to some circumstances i'm selling it at the rate of rupees 1140 to here in this situation when i see my cost price is greater than the selling price so what we have the answer is we face the loss okay so this is the same question part number second क्वेश्चन नंबर वन पार्ट नंबर सेकेंड तो दिस टाइम वी आर परचेजिंग अ वॉच तो देर फोर कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ अ वॉच डब्ल्यू ए टी सी एच इज इक्वल एंड टू एज पर द क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड टेन वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन आई परचेज दिस वॉच ना वॉट आई हैपनिंग वॉट इज हैपनिंग आई सोल्ड इट एट द रेट ऑफ selling price of the watch is rupees 1140 rupees 1140 so in this situation we can see here sorry my selling price is 1140 and i bought it at the rate of rupees 1210 is what is happening here i am facing the loss because here cost price is greater than the selling price so because cost price is greater than the selling price so what will happen then the shopkeeper has a loss so he faces the loss so to calculate what is loss to so our formula that i have already mentioned earlier is equivalent to cost price minus selling price which implies loss is equivalent to cost price is rupees 1210 minus selling price is rupees 1140 which is equivalent to loss is equivalent after subtracting mm, yes my loss is equal to rupees 70 that means i lose rupees 70 rupees i'm not getting back my 70 rupees i bought at the rate of, uh, at the rate of rupees 1210 now i'm getting only this much of money means i'm not getting this part so when i'm not getting this part means i'm in loss so hence the loss is equal to rupees 70 okay i step aside you take the snapshot clear 
More on to the next question. Question number second of the same exercise, exercise 4a. In this question, it is saying that find the cost price. Now here we have to calculate the cost price and to calculate the cost price we have the formulas. When we have profit that time the cost price is different and when we have loss that time the formula is different. Now we have to check the situation. See, in the first situation it is mentioned here selling price is rupees 46 and profit is rupees 8. Now we have to calculate the cost price. Now to calculate the cost price when we have profit that time the formula becomes selling price minus profit and after subtracting it you will come to know what is my cost price let's do it in this question we have to find out the cost price now we have two situations and we look the situations carefully Okay, thank you, sir. So, in the question number second, part first, it's saying that our selling price is equivalent to rupees 46 and profit is equivalent to rupees 8. Now, when we have such kind of situation, that time the formula becomes, therefore, cost price. We have to calculate the cost price. So, cost price is equivalent to selling price minus profit. So, when we have profit, that time the formula becomes for the cost price is equivalent to selling price minus profit. So, we have selling price? Yes. We have profit? Yes. Now, what we have to do? Just subtract. After subtracting, you will get the answer. So, therefore, which implies cost price is equivalent to our sale price that is equivalent to rupees 46 minus our uh, profit which is equivalent to rupees 8. Now subtract them so the, which implies 46 minus 8 um, that is equivalent to rupees 38. So therefore cost price is rupees 30 or hence we can write here. Hence, cost price is rupees 38. Clear? Take the snapshot and what we are going to move the next part. In the next part, we are again finding, we have again to find, we have again to find out the cost price. And this time the selling price is 325, but we are going to face the loss. It is mentioned here, loss is equal to rupees 25 and we have to find out the cost price. And when we have such kind of situation, the formula becomes SP minus, instead of minus, we have to use the plus because we have this time loss. Okay, let's raise it. Question number second, part number second. Solution. In this question, we have selling price, which is equivalent to rupees 325. Now, we have loss which is equivalent to rupees how much it's 25 okay now we have to calculate the cost price as i said earlier when we have cost when we have loss that time cost price is equivalent to the sum of these two selling price plus loss this is the formula which implies cost price is equivalent to or selling price which is equivalent to rupees this is the another symbol of the rupees in hindi we can use this symbol rupees 325 plus rupees 25 which implies 325 plus 25 which is equivalent to 350 that means i purchased this thing at the rate of rupees 50 but i sold it at the rate of 325 that's why i facing the loss which is equivalent to rupees 25 so hence cost price is rupees 300 
and 50. So this is the answer of this question. I step aside, you take the snapshot. Next question, question number third. Now in this question, it's mentioned here, it's asking, find the selling price. In question number second, we have to find, we was, uh, uh, we have to find cost price. Now in this question, we have to find out the selling price. And here, cost price is given, profit is given. In, in the second part, cost price is given, then loss is given. Again, we have the two situations. First, we have, in the first part, we have profit. Then in the second part, we have loss. So we have two formulas for finding the selling price. Let's trace it. Question number third, part first. In this question, we have to find out the selling price, but the given things are, the first thing that is cost price, which is equivalent to 640 rupees, 640. And we have profit, which is equivalent to how much? Rupees 64. Now we have to calculate the selling price as question is asking. So that time the formula becomes this plus this. Cost price plus profit. Which implies selling price is equivalent to rupees 640 plus rupees 64 after adding you will get your selling price so after adding them it is equivalent to 704 so it means the selling price is so hence selling price is 704 i purchase at rupees 640 I'm selling it at rupees 704. That's why I'm getting the profit of rupees 64. When we have such kind of situation, what we have to do, we have to add these two th terms, cost price and profit, to find out the selling price. Okay, now move on to the next part of the same question, question number third, part number second. In this part, it's saying that our cost price is equivalent to 2250 and our loss is given which is equivalent to 250 now as per the question it is saying that find the selling price in this question it is given that cost price is 2250 loss is 250 now we have to calculate the selling price and as we know that in the formula when we have loss selling price is equivalent to cost price minus loss so here our cost price is given which is equivalent to 2250 minus or loss is also given which is equivalent to rupees 250 after subtracting them you will come to know what is our selling price it means our selling price is equivalent to 2000 but i purchase it at rupees 2250 so that i get a loss that is equal to 250 so hence selling price is rupees 2000 this was all for today hope you enjoyed today's video and you understand it very well wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh